Today I'm going to show you how to do a mass upload into your SkySlope account and then split the documents. It's probably one of the quickest and easiest ways to do this. So previously I've already um, added my documents and I've saved them on my desktop already so they're ready to go. So this is the main screen that you're going to be at when you do your search for your property. So what you're going to do I'm going to go over to this document section here and it's going to ask you what you want to upload. So I'm going to upload my documents and in this particular one I've got it marked. I'm going to open it and then it's going to automatically feed through so you'll see it finish it out. And then what we'll do is we'll split them. Okay, so now here I've got this load. And you can tell um, you know, that it hasn't been seen or anything or attached because there's nothing here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split these. So here you're gonna see what the document name is and your pages. Now, of course, you're gonna have to be a little familiar with what is our document names so that you know that you can split them. So as soon as this finishes loading, you'll see that little more. Okay, so I know you can't see that it might be a little blurry um, here, uh, but here's our trust advisory. So I know that this is two pages, so I'm going to go one to two. I'm going to type in trust advisory. Now see it says it's completed already. Well, at the time that I sent this, uh, the first copy, I only had the time of listing signed by the seller. Um, and then when we went into contract, all parties needed to sign again. So it's kind of a twofold. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just click this box. And that goes to that. So I'm going to scroll down to page three. So page three was my BIA. And you'll see it's right here. So it automatically fed that in. Now I'm going to go to page four. And because that was just kind of a, um, that was the other agent made their uh, buyer sign that, I'm going to just go ahead and throw it on receipt for reports. I'll just put it in that category for now. Or I could put it under pest inspection, either one. But for this, I'm just going to put it right here for now. So five is an addendum. Now you'll see I have quite a few on here. So I'm actually going to guess that it's actually um, addendum two. It's hard to see in here, but I think that's what it was. And there's another addendum two. So actually I'll just go five through six on this one. Here's another receipt for reports on page seven. So receipt. There's that one. Then I've got my AVID. So that's going to start on page eight. And yeah, we know that's going to end on page 10. So AVID. So here's my NHD, one of them. So I'm going to kind of just scroll down to see if it's part of the other one, and it's not. So I'm going to go put in my NHD. I'm not sure why it's not pulling up. Natural hazard, so I have to type it in. There we go. So I had to type that in. Instead of just putting an NHD, I had to type in natural hazard. Okay. And it was showing a complete there because I actually have the full report, but I'm just waiting for that receipt page. So that's why you can see that. So starting on page 12, seller property questionnaire. So we'll go to the very end. That takes me to page 15. Water Conservatory is two pages, so we're going to go to 17. I 
again, I knew I know what the names are of them, so with the tabs. So this is the Market Conditionary Advisory. So that starts at page 18. It's going to go to page 19. Market Condition or MCA. Statewide Buyer. So we know that's going to be a few pages long. So we're going to scroll down to the bottom of that. Now it's going to go to page 31. Get my buyers. So this is a miscellaneous form. It's something that we throw in notice of your property tax bill. If I look and I know that a home value has sold higher than what the assessed value is by the county, I'm going to throw this in there for the buyer to know. So what I may put this under is miscellaneous. Oops. So miscellaneous. Okay. So what if I don't know what I'm like, oh, I'm not really sure what I want. To, I can't remember which one this is listed. You also can go this way too. You can go on the side here and kind of figure out, uh, forget which where, where that category is called again. So, so it's environmental. We'll put it there. Here's again some miscellaneous not related to my deal. So miscellaneous again same thing and actually what I'll probably end up just doing is just doing an additional page so that was 36 37 of their forms 38 of um, there's, but I'm going to go ahead and classify the other one under a different category. So for this, I'm going to just do 35 to 37. Okay. On 38 was an affiliated business arrangement from the other company. So I'm still going to put it on here. So 38 uh, through 38. So affiliated. So again, more miscellaneous stuff that started at page 39. Okay, to 41. So I'll go down to 41. And 42 through 44 should my TDS. Okay, so now I've got all my pages. So now you're going to go up here, click split and assign, and these will put in all the tabs. It takes a few minutes for it to do it, and then you're just going to go to your checklist. And say, nice job, go to your checklist. So here, you're going to see, you're going to see, um, all of these pending in here. Now, obviously, you see I've got some addendums that aren't in there. So I got to go through and make sure those are all cleaned up as well. So I know, for example, I have an addendum number three. So I'm going to attach it. So I'm going to upload the document. And I've got addendum three. FE just stands for fully executed. So if you see that sometimes. So this is the other part. So this is how you upload it, maybe not in the sense of a 
big package, but just singly. Okay. So I'm going to go through here. Um, I know I have some other um, things that are required. So at the end of escrow, when you close escrow, your title company is going to send you this QS as part of your, your closing packet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here and attach it. So I've already received it. I'm going to hit the upload document. And I've got my FERPTA. Okay, so that's there now. The other parts, the escrow instructions, a lot of times agents don't know what that is. And that's the full package that comes. So I'm going to go click on that, attach. And I'm going to call it the full broker package so I know. Click on it. Upload. Okay, I'm going to go back down. My HUD statement is usually one or two pages. And again, these are coming at the closing. Your, your escrow officer should be emailing those to you. Okay. I'm going to attach. So then you'll see in here, I've got some incompletes that I'm going to have to go review, find out what those are about for the auditing, um, and, and go from there. But this is what it should look like, and then I'll go in and audit your files, and then you should have greens. Okay? So if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I will do um, some more videos as we go on this. All right? Have a great day.